I'm Joan, and I'm your first Golden Bachelorette. One thing we learned this week is somebody did not come for love. Oh, he tried. And he left unloved. Hmm. Uh, we are recapping the Golden Bachelorette. We are down to three men at the beginning of this episode. We have Guy. Yep. Who is Guy and Chalk are both Don's men. Well, and she's we, somehow not here to defend. <laughs> she doesn't have to. She yeah, has two true. men still. And Pascal, who is Kendall's last man. We kicked off the Golden Bachelorette only like the Golden Bachelorette can with two commercials, one for Air Tahiti. <laughs> hey guys, love and, them. And one for Star Breeze. And I thought to myself, this is pretty ingenious cuz they're like uh cruises. We should definitely be advertising cruises to this age group. I love that. And like the Sofitel Hotel. I'm like, "Oh my god, could you guys get any more obvious about I, what we're doing?" It's just like and we'd come back for more. We eat it up. <laughs> We had a last year, uh, we had one of the Golden Bachelor contestants, Nancy Rollup, to kind of give us a breakdown of what each positives and negatives were for each batch or for each uh, contestant. Um, she so much like Joan had made it very clear guy. She said things like slow burn or slow smolder. I wasn't like him. I know, but I, I do think she started looking at him differently this episode. So I watched it with my mom and we both kind of thought like the same thing we've been talking about. But as this episode went, I went, maybe, maybe she's being honest and it is a slow burn. Maybe. I don't know. It just feels like she says a lot of words that are like, I'm just not that into him. (laughs) Uh, When she talked about Pascal, she said he's very guarded. That's his biggest qualm. Mm -hmm. And Chalk is a really dumb one. Is he too good to be true? Like, what does that mean? Uh, Like, oh, you... You like him the most, is what you're saying? Okay, so what's what was Joan's friend's name? Uh, Nancy. Nancy. So my mom's watching it with me this morning, and you guys will get a kick out of this. And she's like, I can't put my finger on who this woman looks like. She looks like somebody I know, but like a little older. And I'm watching it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at my mom, and I'm, I'm like, Mom, she looks like me in 30 years. And my mom really runs up to the TV, like puts her hands over her face, the bottom of her face. She's like, oh, yeah. She, it was just hilarious. Nancy is a, your future Nancy. Nancy's hot, too. I know. I, can see I was it. like, I'll take it. That's and fun. She's like, she said you. <laughs> she said something that I think you should start saying as well. She okay. had the best quote of the night because she was talking about, uh, Joan was talking about being lonely. Mm-hmm. And Nancy said, lonely is not a place you stay. Lonely is a place you walk through. Oh, I like that. I do too. That is deep. That is like, yeah, that you should not get used to being lonely. No. Um, our first date was with Guy, mm-hmm. the one who has brother energy, who has like brother sister vibes. Uh, there was a lot of like, she even said to him because at some point he. She said, you can kiss me on my lips. Is like she said something along those lines because he was the one who's like, can I, yeah. do I have permission to kiss you on your cheek? He's so polite and proper that you're like, it's okay, buddy. You're like the final three. Yeah. You're, you're okay to kiss her. She wants, in fact, she wants you to make out with her face. Yeah. I dated somebody that was like, all like we, I couldn't imagine even having sex with this person because he was so polite. Where I was like, well, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> you're like, yes, that's what you do with that. Yes. Uh, and so they went, and uh, one of the funny things that she did is she made sure she had a big conversation about how we're not going to have sex tonight. Like, mm-hmm. it was a very formal, hey, guy. Don't get excited. Don't think that we're going to have sex because I'm not going to have sex with anybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike, what were, what were the exact... Well, her exact words is, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to physically express intimacy with more than one person. Yeah. And I noticed how she said that and guys like, yeah, I'm totally on board. No, I totally get it. It's like, can you say something wrong? Can you do something that's not perfect? He says to her. <laughs> and then. I like him. She says the same thing to Chalk. Yeah. Now, let's be honest. She didn't lie. She didn't if lie. If she did something with Chalk, because Chalk had a look at somebody mm-hmm. who did a little something, something. It was a beautiful, intimate moment, and that will stay between she and I. I will remain the gentleman. Yeah. He, he looked mm-hmm. like the cat that ate the canary. Uh-huh. Like, it was like... He ate something. <laughs> I would be very proud. I would be very proud of Chalk. I would actually start to like... Here's the problem I have with Chalk. What? I started liking him this episode. Oh, quite no. a, I know. 
I uh, know. It's hard to put your finger on what it is you don't like about it. I can, it. You know I, what can I mean, I, oh, so I texted Mike yeah. while they're on there because you were, I, you were, okay, so I was like, you guys don't, don't tell me. You were, yeah. yeah. So I texted Mike because when they're in there on their side by side date, mm-hmm. she's so joyful around him. He's so joyful yeah. around her. And I went, you know what? As much as I don't like Chalk, I see why her and Chalk should be together. Mm. But then he started his sales pitch. Uh huh. His like, here are the top three reasons you should be with me. Um, number one, I am man who has love for you. Like it was like he's sales pitch guy. Mm-hmm. It was like, tell me what well, Sarah said something that was perfect. Yeah, Sarah's like, he just seems like the CEO of a bank that's going under selling faulty loans to people. Like he just comes off and he's always had that. He's yeah. he's always the yes guy. He's always the assumptive clothes guy. Every time he gets her in a room and sits her down, he's always just looking for her to keep saying yes to things and just get that assumptive clothes. And guess what? It's working. It's working. It's worked. He's been. It's like very possessive. Yes, that's what I get. Yes, it's like this is. I'm this guy from this small town, and now I have this beautiful hubba bubba woman who's into me. Everybody look. Yeah. Everybody look at her. Like it's just that I don't like that. The sentence he's been saying over and over is, "I'm just crazy about you," and then he said last night, "I'm fully in love with you." So. He went ahead and snatched that title because this is this is Chalk's world. We're just living in it. Uh-huh. But it could have been Pascal's, maybe. Oh, and to go to Pascal's date where we had the most cringy, uncomfortable. What is it? A binding ceremony? A Tahitian binding ceremony? Yeah, yes. Tahitian. Uh, which I said, are they Tahitian married now? Like, what right. was it? And we could. Em- it was emanating off of him how uncomfortable he was. Like, how did she not feel that from him? Kendall, great point. Like, like, read the room. Everybody could feel how he was sweating. So then he goes to their final dinner, and I will pull it up. This is what happened. It got ugly. It got bad. You know, if you're not ready, it's one thing. If you're never going to be ready, that's a different thing. I'm having a a very difficult time because I know what love is. I've experienced it. You've experienced it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I care about you as a friend. But I'm not in love. It's not how I pictured this going, but, you know, life has a funny way of doing that to you. Not turning out how you thought it was going to. Rudolph. I care very much about you. Me too. You know, she tried to say it's okay, it's okay. I know it's not okay. When you get hurt, she tried to overcome by said, "Oh, I'm okay. It's okay. It's okay." To try to protect yourself, but I could see it. I could feel it. You know, she, the way she was holding my hand. I know she was not okay. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Get away from it. I hate to hurt people. I'm, I'm 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 hurt right now. I'm hurt, and I've hurt her, and I feel terrible about that. Terrible, uh, terrible. Pascal, and this was such a concern for her with him. I know was that she wasn't the one for him. So it, it's it is that thing of like when you have that feeling in your gut, it's probably right. You should probably listen to it because as much as she wanted that to work, and it, clearly he wanted it to work, it just was. Off. She it, said she loved him too. And I left. I know, and that's when I was like, I don't think Joan always knows how to read the room because, like, I think back to them. She doesn't know anything about Pascal. Like, mm-hmm. it feels like she barely knows him at all. And I think um, there's some things that really, like, he was never able to really connect with her. Right. Right. Mike and this, brought up, yeah. Yeah, this is the second time. And we uh, I've questioned sometimes when she gets really, and I feel like, okay, this is for the drama sake of it, but she really gets into this whole, are they going to choose me? Are they going to choose me? And honestly, though, for this is the second time because Brittany and I still believe that she left room for Mark to fight. Yeah, I truly believe when she sat down with Mark and he eventually left because she said, you know, this didn't work out. I think he she left room for him to fight for her and he didn't. And now you've got this guy who just actively is like, yeah, we're down to three, but it's not love. I see you as a friend. Uh, it's not going to work. So technically that fear is kind of happening for her well and don't these forget guys aren't choose her. yeah and jordan too his daughter said like i don't think he's gonna choose you and yeah. he didn't really do anything to show her that he was 
If anything, though, we do have to be thankful we did get this sound drop for the rest of our show. <laughs> no, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And I do feel like we can apply that to most of our days <laughs> and all the things. But yeah, Pascal walked out, leaving it the the it down to Guy and Chalk. And I think I that think means I'm out. But does self elimination count the same way? Oh, so it does. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm not a bachelor, you know, veteran. What's next now? Normally, we would have had a race rose ceremony okay. tonight, and then there's a final two. Got so it. she'll go on one more date with both of them. There's a Neil Lane scene where he'll help pick out a ring, okay. and then it is the final final. And after that, there's the after the final rose, Do and there's have- the mentel all before that. I was going to say, the mentel all is mm-hmm. next week, yeah. and then we have the final episode. Yeah. So we yep. will be recapping all of that here on My MyTalk 1071, Brittany and Kendall.